Oh, <clears throat> I really wish I didn't know who we're going to be playing in the next round if we get through, because that makes things just that little bit more tense. I, I know we're not expected to get through this, but but there is a massive, massive club waiting for a winner of this tie. And oh, no. Good game, good performance, so another win, just keep going. Oh, it's the normal, uh, up, all cereal, uh, banana, uh, and that's me, ready to rock like everything ready in the bag. To get off two goals in the first ten minutes was good, but at the same time, it was probably, that probably hindered us for the rest of the first half. Ah, oh, I struck your luck, to be honest, I had a dry patch, you know, scored two and two, and two so, well, not two and two, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, Chris here from Heed the Ball Gaming and welcome back to another Football Manager 2020 episode where we take Jersey Bulls, Britain's newest and most southerly club and try and take them all the way to the Premier League and at the moment we're in Division 9 and we've got a big one today we've got the Emirates FA Cup second round against Scunthorpe United and Scunthorpe United are absolutely flying so let's have a wee look that's Cunthorpe United in the Vanarama National League and they are first. And they're not running away with it but we're three points ahead of Chesterfield, seven ahead of Wrexham. So, yeah, we're probably going to do pretty well. And let's have a look at their players. It's always a little bit scary. Let's look at our captain, Adam Hamill. He looks like he played for St Mirren. Let's see if I'm right. There they are, he had a wee, uh, wee spell at St Mirren. And he's very good, he's good. He, he could be playing in the Scottish Premier League. <laughs> and 84%, I think he's probably higher than that for our team. And then Jordan Clark. Oh, he is very good. Right, this is a step up in class from the last big side that we played. And that was Maidenhead. As you can see, they're, <laughs> they're rooted at the bottom now. So, this is going to be interesting. In terms of what's happened since you've last been here, a few, a few games. <laughs> I meant to come back for the Bicarelli game, but I didn't. So your last year for the Hartlepool double bill. So we played a load of games. Um, we won 4-0 against Abbey Rangers. Um, Jack Holmes getting two. The young guy we signed from Kidminster Harriers. Mark Anthony Logue scoring an absolute screamer. And then Marcus Day, another young lad that we signed. And then Frimley Green. Kean Lester scored the penalty, and this was by far the closest game since I thought we might have struggled, but because these guys were really, they played like Barcelona, honestly. Ticky tacky, everything. Then we went to Bridgewater, won 4 0, quite comfortable. Fraser Barlow, James Query, Joseph Paya, and Fiddle O'Rourke scoring. And then we went to Windsor, 1 2 1, and again, this, we left it late, but Jack Holmes. Stepped up to the plate and he's starting to look like a proper player. But at the moment, all the guys I've signed have been on um, amateur contracts. So they're all getting snapped up, as you'll see in a minute. And then we went to Bicarelli and we beat them 2-1. And Bicarelli are in the Conference North, South, Conference South, which you really, I'd imagine. South, isn't it? Yeah, National League South, yep. So that was quite a decent result. With uh, Joseph Pia, the Belgian, and then Remy Street, the big defender, scoring. And then they scored one right in the last minute, just to, just to give us a little bit of nerves. Then we went to Ascot, which was one of the other games I was going to bring you. Daryl Wilson and Jack Holmes again, and he left it really late. I thought it was a draw. I honestly did. I pushed everybody up. We got the goal, and it was really, really quite traumatic. <laughs> and then Tooting and Mitchum won 3-1. Matt Mills getting a double, the, the, the better defender that we signed, and then Remy Street. And you'll see a new name on the team sheet, Jack Rose, and he's a proper upgrade um, from George Legg. Absolutely fantastic goalkeeper. Been at Southampton. No, he's not. He's been at West Brom, Southampton, Walsall. So he's been about, not played much football. Three games on loan at Walsall. And then, so yes, we did that one. And then Kensingham, we won 3 0. Matt Mills, James Query, and Jack Holmes. And then 3 0 against Hounslow. Hounslow? Hounslow United. 
and like another routine win. Findle O'Rourke, Zippy and Marcus Day scoring. Zippy's not scored a lot of goals this season. He's been ever present near enough, but he hasn't scored a lot. So we're going to go for the team selection. And we have Rose, Query, the captain, Mills and Street and Bola, Appa, Forsen, Barlow, Boyle, Martinovic, and then up front, Wilson and Apaya. And it has been a complete rotation every game. I'm having to rotate really heavily. So after today, we'll probably lose our first ever game. And then that'll ease the squad selection going on. So we've got Vanderbilt, eh, Vanderbilt on the bench. We've got Tynamo, Adau, eh, Jay Giles, Mark Anthony Logue, Holmes and Fiddle O'Rourke. Um, as you can see, Romano's got a bid on him. I'm quite happy if Romano goes, to be honest. He's, he's not that good. James Carr's wanted. Um, but Adou's already arranged to go to Waterford, who seem to be wanting to steal all my players. And then Tamau's wanted by a lot of big clubs. He wants to go to Hashtag United. And Forsen, Maidenhead want him. Obviously impressed against them. And I, I'm just worried that some of the other guys are going to be wanted. But I'm not going to sign anybody, I don't think, in the transfer window. I'm literally just going to let it play out. Because I think the team we've got are strong enough. Even the, the guys that stepped up, they struggled for the first couple of weeks. But they've, they've got their groove back. So I don't want to upset the Apple Cart by bringing in too many players. Obviously, if, if everybody starts getting snapped up, then um, we can... Review that situation. Right, here we go. Cameron Burgess. Uh, we're focused. Oh, Adam Hamill has been out. That is a boost because he is a tasty player. Right, here we are. Jack Boyle gets a yellow card straight away. Good man. Matt Mills straight after him. These guys are better than us, so this could be interesting. Should we encourage our players to play short passing? No, we're not. We're going to try and uh, bulldoze past them. Yeah, we want to make that change. Matt Mills, I don't want him getting sent off. Not want to give me the option of getting Jack Boyle to calm down as well. There we go. Took a little bit longer than that. <laughs> You'd have thought it would have been the other way about, seeing as the cards were were different. That was a boring half. <laughs> Wasn't even a... Uh, get back out and grab that one goal that'll win it. What more to come? What more to come? You've got what it takes. This has been a interesting half of the game of football, isn't it? This is <laughs> Highlight galore. Yeah, make changes, right? Who's not playing well? Barlow's not mm, struggling. Wilson's struggling, right? Okay. George Apaya is playing awful as well, and he's our our star man. Jack Boyle's playing badly. Holmes could come on. He's making things happen at the moment, and we'll leave the last sub. So let's just get creative. This is going to be a replay, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, Matt Mills. Oh, taken by the Scunthorpe player. Mills. Rourke. Apaya. Oh, I thought that was in. Make sub. Some of these guys are really struggling and not going to make the, the replay by looks of things. Um, we're going to go Barlow off for a doubt. Four minutes at a time. I maybe should have went for it, but another, another, this team can't lose. Another draw. Um, lucky boys, it wasn't your day. We played awfully, 
but they played awfully, so, you know, these things happen. We've got the replay coming up. Now, is it next? Or is it a couple of games away? It's usually straight away. I can't see us getting a result against Gunfort. They are a very good side. They're going to beat us over there. But we really are unbeatable. That's a side way ahead of us in the pyramid. Right, here we go. Inbox. Game's quite slow today. Right, yes, yeah, so it's next then. All right, I'll see you in a minute. We could be playing Liverpool. But it's not going to be there. I don't know why it's looking there, but the next round, basically, Liverpool are waiting for us. Ah, we, we ain't getting there. So we're going to go for a leg and goals. Um, no, we're going to go for Jack Rose and goals, actually, because leg has been a bit... Well, he's all right, but Rose is a better goalkeeper. Tamau is a right back. Mills, Street and Bola. Adou, Quarry's struggling a little bit. Holmes. Boyle and Martinovic, and uh, Apaya and Rourke, and uh, the big man Barrow's out, he's just struggling with fitness and I can't risk him. So, here we go. Our chance to play Liverpool at Anfield, we just have to get through a massive team in the form of Scunthorpe United, the conference leaders five divisions above us and there we go O'Rourke Apaya <gasps> Joseph Apaya with a goal come on the Belgian oh and it's Rourke the former Liverpool man it makes the makes the goal and uh Former Leicester player scores. Oh, that is good. And there's more. After four minutes, there's more highlights than there was the whole game. A boil. Oh, this is going to be a Scunthorpe attack. Nichols. It goes past our defender like he's not even there. And Rose deals with it admirably. Well, kind of just. That's goalkeeping. Continental keeping, I'll call it. They never refer to it as that anymore, do they? Continental keeping, you know what I mean? If, it, if somebody punched the ball, it's like, oh, it's the continental way of keeping, but don't do that as Holmes. <gasps> and Mills! Oh! We're not... Oh, no, we can't... Oh! <laughs> We're not going to Anfield, are we? Oh, let's not count the chickens. Or count our bulls before they moo. I don't. Right, yeah, Remy. You don't want to be getting booked. Zippy's struggling, but here we go. Scunthorpe throw in. Royal. Circle. They are getting chances. Oh, brilliant block. And Rose with the save. Oh. Yeah, my hair's coming back, so I can now pull it. But this is going to be, um... <gasps> oh, come on. I thought, oh, Zippy gets a book in. And then other news, me and, me and uh, Carol Hines have, have made up, so he's going to sneak back into the squad now. He liked one of my tweets, so he is back into the squad. <laughs> Right, so who has just got injured? Roland Adu. Aga do, do, do. Now who do I bring on? James Query? Or Mark Anthony Logue? I think it has to be the captain. He's going to be the man it. Keep it going. Defence. Got what it takes. You've got what it takes. And yeah, what's we got what it takes. End team talk. Go. We're going to start struggling. 
but they're struggling as well. They're the full time side. Martin Ovic, Zippy, speculative, but he gets the rebound, the second ball, the Paya, the Belgian, James Query, Bola. Oh, the Paya, still going to get there. This guy, but these guys are all going to go. Boyle, Bola. But it's good for the Jersey Bulls originals because they'll get their chance. Oh, Mola gets a goal back for Scunthorpe. Um, demand more, come on. Clark, Nichols. There we go. Oh, Boyle nearly. But their ball dealy, dealy cams it. Camway deals with it. Rowell. Mitchell. Oof. Holmes. Oh, that was a bit aggressive. On the young stuff. Paya. Lovely stuff. <gasps> Vanilla Rourke. 3 1. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. I was quite happy to to lose this game, but the fact there's a tie against Liverpool on the line. It's not even, I don't even know why they're showing that, because there's not a chance he was offside there. Okay, make changes. Close them down more. Right, have it. A Paya and a Rourke. He's desperate to play Anfield. Oh, and he misses. Oh, there we go. Bola. Boyle. Oh, Royal couldn't get there, didn't he? Oh, he threads the ball through. Oh, 3-2. Um, this is a problem. I don't have a huge amount of game changers on the bench. Right, let's keep it going. Well, let's demand more. Not changing anything. Five minutes added time. And Bola. Oh, and Bola gets it. <gasps> Rose gets Bola out of trouble. Steal a steal straight away. Circum. And away. Oh, Tamau. Name taken. Mitchell. Oh. Weight <sighs> equaliser. Rose. Gets his hand to the ball, but. It's unlucky. Straight to penalties. Right, guys. Row scores. Jack Holmes scores. Eh? That was in. Mitchell saved. Bola. Says Miss. Oh. Lovely penalty. 
Hey, Mola. Oh. Good penalty. Matt Mills, centre defender. Oh, saved. Street, Remy Street. So he got penalty taken about two. Nichols to win it. <sighs> he wins, goes, he wins. Unbelievable. We didn't deserve that. Really didn't win deserve that. It was a tie against Liverpool on the line. And we blew it at the last minute. I do not know what to say. Team talk. Aggressive. I'm not happy. We deserve to win it. We didn't. Well, we've still not been beaten in 90 minutes, so I suppose that's a, a takeaway from it. I've just got to do about two minutes away from playing Liverpool at Anfield. Right, on that note, I'm going and I'll see you next time, alright? Thanks very much, bye-bye.